Hey everybody, I have been having a great time shopping. It looks like the Halloween stuff is really hitting the stores. So I wanted to take some time to update you on part of my July haul where I found that apothecary jar and I asked you for suggestions as to what I could fill it with. Well, you all gave me some great ideas. I did a lot of shopping today um, and I have a finished product for my apothecary jar. Um, part of the inspiration of getting that done was I've been having a great month at the Goodwill stores too. I know a lot of you have said you've had a hard time finding um, you know, Halloween stuff at your Goodwill stores. I have found fantastic stuff this, um, this month. I can't wait to show it to you at the end of the month. I've already started um, rehabbing some of the items and turning them into some ha Halloween projects for this year that I am super stoked about. Can't wait to show it to you. So I'm going to do this sort of mini haul video of just a couple of things I got today because um, I'm going to start incorporating those into my projects. I wanted to show it to you before I did that and then give you that update on my apothecary jar. So um, primarily I just went to Ross today. If you haven't been to the Ross stores, they always have fantastic Halloween stuff at very low prices. For instance, I got this sign here. Um, you know, it's just poison. It says consume at your own risk. I'm having a Halloween party for the neighborhood this year, so I'm going to find some place on the buffet line um, for this item. It was only $3.99. You know, it's this big, heavy, heavy board. It's much, you know, thicker and nicer than the kind of stuff that you'd find at the dollar, the dollar stores. So I'm excited about that. I'm not too thrilled about the coloring. It's got this sort of textured burlap kind of material on the front, but you know, for four bucks, I'll, I'll find, a, you know, some way to display it. Actually, I thought I might put it on a little easel, maybe paint the easel black and give it some Halloween flair or something. Um, but speaking of the dollar store kind of things, you know, I picked up some things like this. I got a couple of these, but I only have one handy because I wasn't planning to show you my Dollar Tree stuff. I'm sure you've all seen it already. Everybody shops at the Dollar Tree for Halloween. I think they've got a pretty good selection this year. Like, I really like this sort of skeleton hanging thing. Um, I guess you ha it's a door hanger maybe. I don't know. But I'm just going to put it on my door handle right here as inspiration. But back to Ross. Um, I found this sort of candle holder. Now this is exactly what I was looking for for one of my projects I'm working on, which I can't tell you about yet because again it was part of uh, my thrift store finds that I'm going to tell you about at the end of this month. But this I'm going to use as a topper to that, and it's absolutely perfect. I love this. Um, it's very, you know, it's a bat. It's metal. It says it's made in India. Um, it says it's got a spellbound um, tag. I'm not sure what they are, but it says it retails for 15 bucks. It was $7.99 at Ross. But, you know, it was so perfect for what I was looking for, I would have paid any price. Um, if you noticed what it's sitting on here, I actually got... Um, some of these placemats. It came in a four pack. Um, it says it was $7.99 compared to $12. Um, but, you know, again, you never really know what those prices are supposed to be. But um, I, I like this silver color. I think I'm going to try and stick to a color scheme of the silvers and the blacks this year um, with some red thrown in. But if you can't tell, it's got a little um, bat motif, which Again, it's part of a project I'm working on, and it just it fits so perfectly. I was thrilled to find this and that. I love Ross. Um, so that's what I got. But part of what I was looking for, again, was what was I going to fill the, that apothecary jar with? A lot of people suggested so many things like frogs and brains and bones, and there's just so much stuff. And I actually was going to go with bones, um, but, you know... I didn't want to go buy a bag of bones because they're pricey. So I was at the dollar store and I thought I would do skulls. Um, so I picked up about five thinking that they would fit in. Well, I didn't think it through properly because the um, thickness of the skull doesn't actually fit inside the apothecary jar. So that was a no-go. Um, but this was kind of a backup anyway. It wasn't really what I wanted to do. Um, but you can never have too many skulls. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I might make them into candles because, you know, if you if you put like a little pillar candle on or, um, yeah, pillar candle, you can stick it next 
tombstones out in your yard or something to help illuminate them, give it a little creepiness. Might spray paint these, maybe just keep them in a bowl or something. Um, you know, if you get some of that metallic spray paint, um, kind of classes it up a little bit if you're gonna like keep them in a bowl or something like this. Another thing I thought I might fill that apothecary jar with, or should I say apothecary jars? Um, that's just a little hint as to, again, this month's um, thrift store haul. I found these at um, the Sam's Club. They are just um, giant jars filled with, these have pretzels, and these have something I have actually never seen before. And one of my weaknesses, I get at Halloween time, um, usually one of these big buckets full of cheese balls, um, those little puffed cheese balls. Well, now they make these little uh, packets of them. They're only about 35 calories each, but they are mini little cheese balls. I don't know if you can see that very well. Hopefully you can. There's just like a little handful in the whole bag. Um, I'm just going to pop these in my mouth mm. and put these back on the floor. Um, I thought if I was going to fill the apothecary jar with these sort of candy products, that might not be the best idea because if I'm going to put it out for the Halloween party, my kids might be trying to get into it, knock it over, things might break. It's probably a bad idea. But these jars are fantastic too. They're huge and they're colored. Again, this one was purple and this one is orange. And I think they're definitely perfect for some sort of Halloween crafting project. I'm not sure what I'll do with them yet. And then at the dollar store, I came across a bunch of these guys, they're little ghouls. Um, they have little posable arms. It says it's 36 inches, but I, I don't know if that's really the case. Um, but you know, it just hangs. And I thought they were kind of cool. So this is actually what I ended up doing. Now, throw that back down there for the moment. Move this guy out of the way. Take my cheese balls, save that for later. Let me show you what I did. I just took one of the little ghouls and kind of stuffed it in the apothecary jar. At first I thought I was going to stuff several of them so you would just see the heads um, you know, popping out amongst all this fabric that just kind of fills the space. Um, but again, well, I think less is more. Sometimes you just have to scale it back, keep it simple, and I think it looks perfect just the way it is. It's got my little ghoul face in here. I did hot glue one of these um, skulls from Michael's on the top as I had talked about doing in my haul video. But what I also went ahead and did was I had these little dollar store frames that I use for um, anytime I have a catering event or you know some sort of party with a buffet. You know, I print out the labels for all the foods while well, I just took one of these. Again, these are just from the dollar store. Um, and I have given her a little label. And if you haven't guessed from my other two labels over there, I've got Sarah and Mary and Winnie, some famous sisters. If you don't know who those are, you probably shouldn't be watching my channel. Um, but I thought I'm going to get three urns, put them on top of my fireplace somehow, you know, add my candelabras. I think it's going to look really fantastic. I'd also found at the dollar store, like, they have this like little LED lights that are just run off two batteries. Um, you know, might stuff it in there to give it a little light um, or just even drape it along the bottom. But then I also just keep telling myself, you know, less is more. By the way, I love that this is only a dollar, but these are supposed to be purple lights. Does that not look blue to you? You probably can't tell in the video, but they look really blue to me. So these came in orange and blue. I'm sorry, orange and purple. Um, just little LED lights, but I'm not thrilled with the coloring on these, so just a heads up if you're planning to do that. So I guess that's it for today. Um, again, I'm really excited to show you my thrift store haul at the end of the month, so please stay tuned for that. Um, gonna have to find at least one more apothecary jar. Um, so I'll be on the lookout for that, and 
hopefully my three sisters here will make quite the impression on my mantle. So stay tuned for that, and if you want to see more crafts, make sure that you are subscribed. I will see you later, everybody. Happy haunting. Take care.